Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your January 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. So uh, we are going to take a look and see uh, what your blocks and challenges are. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, and also my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. All right, so Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn. What are Capricorn's blocks and challenges for January 2024? What are Ca Capricorn's blocks and challenges for January 2024 for Capricorn? For Capricorn, for Capricorn, for Capricorn. Okay, so we have the lovers here and the wheel of fortune. Well, this could be an indication that perhaps you guys are coming into alignment with yourself here. Uh, perhaps, you know, the universe is maybe sending your soulmate here too. And, you know, perhaps the soulmate is coming in, but you're definitely, definitely, there's definitely some blocks here. Yeah, definitely some blocks here that you haven't really quite released yet or moved on from yet. I mean, this could be trauma, burdens, this could be grudges or something like that. And I feel like, you know, if someone new was coming in, um, obviously, you know, it would be quite difficult to make room for, uh, for this new person to come in because you're still holding space for other things here. You know what I mean? Even if you were to make room for this new person, hypothetically, all the things that you're holding on to will surface in the relationship here. So I feel like it's time to really just let it go and move on from these traumatic experiences that you've been through here, uh, these grudges that you're holding on to here, okay? Obviously, you know, we all have trauma. We all have been through trauma in life. You know, we can't really completely forget them or like really fully remove it from our physiology, but we can remove the heaviness of the traumas that we've been through here, okay? The death card, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the, uh, the, 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 the lovers. Why is the lovers here? The lovers here and the queen of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the, de uh, the wheel of fortune here and the hermit. This is also about connecting with your higher self here and not losing sight of yourself not getting caught up in the matrix here, you know, not being uh, caught up in uh, obsessive behaviors here too. So this is about not losing sight of yourself and really focusing on what's at hand here, you know, that's coming up to the surface, especially when it comes to your trauma, your burdens, your pain here, whatever that might look like to you. Eight of Wands here. And yeah, there's a, there's a new relationship that's coming in for you. The problem is, yeah, the problem is there's a block that's keeping you from this relationship really developing and blossoming because like I said, you're still holding on to space for these past things here that hasn't really been quite released yet or moved on from or healed from yet. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection here. And like I said, if you don't deal with this or that you haven't dealt with this and you just accept this person in, into your life, it will definitely come up in the relationship here. The Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands here and the Four of Pentacles here, the Death card here and the Four of Swords. It's time to heal and let go. You're definitely holding on to a lot, of, a lot of things here that's just not really serving a purpose in your life. And it's definitely holding you back here, Capricorn. What else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn do? Uh, what else does Capricorn need to know, look out for, work on for January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be an enemy of replacements, you guys. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, okay. There's definitely some past heartbreak that you're still holding on to that you haven't really quite left behind yet or moved on from or healed from. This is definitely going to affect your relationship here. The Nine of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like someone here is not really good um, by themselves right now. 
yeah, there's all this residual energy that someone here is holding on to and not letting go. And I feel like someone here just keeps rum ruminating about the past here. Yeah, some here just keeps ruminating about the past here with the Empress here, Libra Taurus here, and the Seven of Swords. Some here is sabotaging themselves from receiving blessings from the universe here. Now, this doesn't have to be you, Capricorn. Maybe this is a person that you're dealing with that's coming into your life, you know? So, so I, I do feel like someone here, whoever I'm rooting for here, someone here definitely has some stuff that they have to deal with here. Uh, the Empress, Libra, Taurus here, time of the Three of Swords. Why is it Three of Swords here? Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Time of the Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups here and the, the, the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. A lot of the stuff that you're holding on to or someone is holding on to really goes back all the way to their childhood here. Yeah, I just feel like someone here just has a hard time letting go of things. Someone here holds grudges here. You know, I do feel like there's... Um, there's a lack of happiness here too. Um, I mean, I mean, ask yourself this, whoever I'm reading for here, you know, um, you know, when holding your grudge, you know, does that make you happy? You know, it's just going to continue to create misery because there's like a negative thing that's attached to it. You know, you know what I mean? So we have the nine of cups here and the knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles here. And we have the uh, devil, not the devil, the tower. Aries Scorpio. Interesting. You know, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is a, like a major wake up call for somebody here because something beautiful is coming in for you. And I do feel like the universe is like, take care of this before, you know, this gets ruined. Uh, the Six of Pentacles here and this, uh, the Empress and the Seven of Swords here and the Justice card. This is self-inflicted karma here by holding on to these things here. And I feel like all this needs to re be released. I do feel like the karmic scales need to be balanced here for somebody in order for this blessing to be received and accepted here. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just feel like someone here is just not really happy. Yeah, I mean, how, how can someone be happy when they're holding on to like past stuff here, you know, or ha holding on to like grudges, you know what I mean? So I do feel like someone here definitely has a lot of releasing, a lot of self-work that they need to do here, okay? Because uh, it, it seems like there's a beautiful soulmate connection coming in, and I just see someone here just having a hard time receiving it and accepting it here. Even though, like I said, someone here that receives it and accept it, uh, it would, it, it, all this will come up in the relationship here, like all of it, okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated here. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.